Productions. Hello, this is Laton. I'm going to show you how to start up not only uh, how to install MineQuest onto a server, but I'm going to start from the server itself. What I've done is I've created a new folder on my network drive. I've called it MQMC. That's for MineQuest on Minecraft. I downloaded the craft bucket. Actually, I can show you everything here um, really easily. I will cut that out and I will tell it that this is a backup. So, we come in here and you can see I've got my backup folder and my craft bucket and minecraft.sh. That's just my startup file that I wrote. I come over to my server and again you can see that there's only the three files in here. Um, I run, uh, basically you can run this with the, uh, I'll, I'll show you what's in here. Um, you just need to run it with the command java space minus x i n c g c space minus x m x 15 12 m that means i'm going to uh, dedicate 1.5 gigabytes of uh, ram to the pr the application you can make this whatever size you need uh, let's say i only want to give it a gig so that would be uh, 1024 and then you say minus jar and then you give it the craft bucket dash zero dot zero dot one dash snapshot dot jar. If you're on uh, Linux, it's going to be case sensitive. If you're on Windows, it really doesn't care. So I save that, and then I run it on uh, my Ubuntu server. And as you can see, it's giving me a bunch of warnings. That's fine. It's the first time the server has been run so it's going to go through and generate everything and I think that right now I'll take a break until it's done alrighty I'm back uh, everything is done loading it took seven seconds um, now if I stop it it saves its chunks and then I start it back up and you can see that there are no errors now there's no warnings the file the server has loaded up now we can come in and go to my my server in this case. Ooh, I spawned in the water. And as you can see, this is the spawning point for this world. And the clouds are making a shadow. So we can go forward a little bit. And my map refreshes. Oh, it was so wheat. It started me out right next to snow. That is a first for me, but then again, I don't create many worlds. So, here we are. Snow, water, beach. I think this is a good place. So, I'm going to go ahead and log out of the server now. I say disconnect. Now, I come back into here. And... I'm going to go into my backup. Everything I'm going to copy basically, oops, don't want to open it. I'm going to copy everything except for the world file. And that's all I need to copy. Now this is essentially more or less a shortcut for me. Um, yes what I've done is I've gone to the minecraft.com I've come down to the downloads and I have grabbed my wilderness plugin and on the main that you see that there's a, a entry saying archer problems this is actually the latest and greatest um, you can't really see it. Let me minimize the screen a little bit so that you can see everything as I see it. And then I'll arrow back out cursor over that. And as you can see, it says the mindquest.com download mindquest 062.test or testing 
dot jar. This is the latest uh, MineQuest. Um, it, it has a bunch of fixes, primarily for the Archer issues. Um, so I'm just saving the minute or two of downloading by having it already backed up. Now I'm going to go in and I'll tell it to stop. Now I've also grabbed the wilderness release and if you go to the monks sanctum dot org node 63 he has a bunch of information here about setting it up and everything um, I'm gonna take the easy way out and copy his structure and then I'll come in here and click on my wilderness config the wilderness config actually was created by starting the the server the first time it downloaded everything for me so now I'm just going to go and edit and I'm going to select all delete it then I'm going to insert in that in which I just copied over now you can see that I've got the file directory which is pointing to the wilderness file which is all based out of your main bucket folder your root bucket then I'm um, got a base chance of 0 0.05 uh, basically that's a, a 5% chance of items or of things being generated the names that the NPCs are going to have is called names.txt I've got a 20% uh, chance of shelter 15% chance of a blacksmith 15% chance farmer 20% healer, 15% hermit, and 15% crazy. Crazies are always fun. So I save that. And then I can come into the wilderness and you can see that it's empty. If I come in at the bottom here, you can see that there are all these different folders and or files here at the very end of his post. What that is, is those are the house files the shelter, the blacksmith, the farmer, those those percentages that I was calling off that's what these they're, they're structure files so I just come in and save all the house files to the wilderness folder because that is where they're going to look for them and I've got two more left the crazy is the last and save it now I'm gonna show you what the farmer house file looks like this is it I've got a six by two by five that means that this is six blocks by two high by five so six long two high five wide and as you can see it's got all the um, fence you got red roses yellow roses or flowers you can have this organized however you want and whatever size you want and as you can see it's spawning an NPC a farmer and it's got a bunch of uh, locations here and then you got a walk message a radius that they can walk or that they'll say it within uh, hit message, uh, cost, item, drop, and I'm going to actually put in here wander radius and say three. That way the farmer won't just be static. So I'm going to save that out. Now the only other thing that I need to do is find the names. And he's got in here a file um, for names, where are you? Randomly assign names, username, name, 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 here. 
So I'm going to actually save that. And I'm going to save that as names.text because that's what I have in my configuration. And this is now ready to go as far as starting the server back up. So we'll start it up. As you'll see, it's going through and it's saying, ah, I forgot about setting up my MySQL, which is fine because that shows you some of the things that can happen. Now, I created a new database, and that database I called MindQuest New. So I need to come, oops, I need to come in here, and I need to go into my MindQuest folder, and I need to edit my main. Now, actually, it looks like everything is already set up. I have the local host, uh, MindQuest. My password for that user is MindQuest. Um, DB is MindQuest new. Let's run it again. Whoops, I'm down one folder. And... Okay, it looks like it was just the first time run that was giving me the issues. So now I have a server running MindQuest, Wilderness, and it's on the bucket server. Let's go in and check everything. Here I am back in the water. And let's go searching. Let's see what we can find. Now, just a quick check to make sure that it's actually loaded. I'm going to do an MQ town. It says I'm not in a town, so therefore, MindQuest is running. So now I can go and create towns and everything else and feel all safe and secure and snugly at night. And I've got a cave here. And let's see, pigs. Pigs are always good to have. Let's see some coal. This is a rather mountainous world. I actually really dig it. Oh, oh, and I fell. Um, I actually have my sound turned off on my game because uh, I hated hearing creepers sneak up on me. Oh, that's a nice little pit of despair there. Oop, finally picked up the feather and jumping, jumping, jumping. Okay, uh, as soon as I find a new block, a new chunk that is loaded, it should have, oh, there we go, there were some generations, uh, that was generation lag. Um, that means I'm coming up to an area where there's, not been a chunk loaded and that's where the wilderness plugin comes in it will generate upon a new chunk load your NPCs and those are what I'm trying to find right now so there hey look there's a wilderness structure this is for survival and occasionally the torches fall off um, and this one actually doesn't have a roof I would go and actually edit the structure for the um, houses and make them to where they have a light stone instead of and it looks like we got a crazy instead of the uh, torches. Oh, nope, that's the farmer. And see, the farmer is actually moving around in his area. He's actually, wow, he's talented. He's walking on the air. And then here is the, another farmer. We got two farmers. Uh, and we've got a blacksmith. 
here's the blacksmith. And I saw a healer over here. So let's go and visit the healer real fast. And that's the way that the buildings are supposed to look. They're supposed to have a finished top on them. And as you can see, every now and then torches fall off. And this is a guy who will heal you. We... Oh, well, he's not working for me. There we go. See, he healed me. He was just a little slow about it. And this is the hermit. Hermit. Bam. So, as you can see, we've got our NPCs working. I wish I could have shown you a crazy. They're fun. Speak of the devil. There we go. See? He's just rambling off to himself. So that's everything with with the Minecraft and or Minequest and uh I love how they can walk through everything. Uh Minequest and the server and getting it all loaded up. Um I know a lot of people have been asking me to to get a basic tutorial up about this well, I've now done it that is how quick and simple it is it only took about 15 minutes to have a fully working server with MineQuest um, I can go in now and start building and say, uh, protecting a town and everything will be hunky dory so that's it for this video I'm gonna go and start working on another one right now so, bye.